Family and friends, we are gathered here today to witness the eternal union of Alejandro Mosqueda and Silvia Guillermo. Alejandro and Silvia, I know that I speak for everyone here when I say what an honor it truly is to be here standing with you today. I personally have only known you for a short time and I met you as a couple. I did not know you individually. For me, it's hard to imagine a place where Sylvia does not belong to Alex and Alex does not belong to Sylvia. And I find that very special. I can never imagine a world without the two of you together in it. Sometimes you meet couples and you think, that makes sense, I guess. But when I look at the two of you, I think, man, that makes sense. It just fits. How perfectly suited the two of you are for one another. The love that you two share is palpable. You may not remember one of the first encounters we had where I got to hang out with the two of you, but in that encounter I watched has, has how Alex looked at Sylvia while she spoke. He looked at her like she was magic, like it was the first time he'd ever laid eyes on her. And she was talking about pizza. <laughs> Or Sylvia, the way you smile at Alex the entire time he tells a funny story. Already ready to laugh, whether or not it's funny. <laughs> Aristotle was once quoted as saying that a friend is a single soul dwelling in two bodies. Today, you marry your best friend, and in doing so, you complete one another. Look at, your, look at each other now and remember this moment. Up until this point, you've been many wonderful things to one another. You've gone from acquaintance, to friend, to companion, lover, dance partner, fellow Disneyland enthusiast, and finally, amazing co-parents to the adorable Wicket the Rabbit. <laughs> But in a few moments, you will be something completely new to one another. You will be husband and you will be wife. Something that was destined. Something that was simply meant to be. Sylvia and Alex have prepared their own vows. I would like to share them with each other and all of you now. It's my understanding that Sylvia would like to go first. So Sylvia, whenever you're ready. Alejandro, like the makeup I love to wear, you are my foundation. You have held us up despite others' doubts. You listened to my fears and accepted me through all my mistakes. You guide me and give me strength when I'm at my weakest. You always fight for us to become better. You always make me feel safe next to you. You've made these years seem like a fairy tale because you treat me like a queen. I never believed in destiny, but it's crazy to think our lives changed from just one picture. They say love is composed of a single soul inhabiting two bodies. And here you are, my other half. I am no longer lost nor alone. You've always been more than just a dream. I promise to value the person you are and the person you'll become as we continue our journey of life together. I promise to always love you and never give up on you. I will accept you, all your success and downfalls. I will be your light in the darkest of days. My mentality has gone from me to we. I love you with all my heart. You are my best friend. <sighs> the first time I saw you was just a picture. Right away I knew I found you, the woman I wanted to marry. I couldn't explain it until I met you. It was your eyes that drew, your eyes and smile that drew me in, but it was your heart that bonded my soul to yours. Your heart that is more fragile than most people know. In that heart I have made my home. You will always be safe in my arms. You will never feel alone. 
because you are absolutely precious to me. I truly believe if we had met in different times in our lives, we would still be standing here together, the world disappearing with each heartbeat. I'm yours in this life and the next. I will build my dreams around you, the only one that came true. I will honor you above all others. You are my queen, I am your king, and we are forever. You guys are killing me. At this time, we will exchange rings. The rings, please, gentlemen. Okay, go ahead and hand your ring to her and hold on to hers. Okay. First, I need to ask you, Sylvia, do you, Sylvia, take Alejandro to be your lawfully wedded husband from this day forward as long as you both shall live? I do. Yeah, you do. All right, go ahead and take Alex's left hand and repeat after me. Alex, Alex, I give you this ring as a symbol of my eternal devotion to you. I give you this ring as an eternal, as a symbol as a of symbol. my eternal devotion to you. As a symbol of my ter eternal devotion to you. I promise to love, honor, and cherish you. I promise to love, honor, and cherish you. For you are my beloved, and I am yours. For you are my beloved, and I am yours. Now place the ring on Alejandro's left finger. All right, Alejandro, do you take Sylvia to be your lawfully wedded wife from this day forward for, long, for as long as you both shall live? I do. Very nice. Alex, please take Sylvia's left hand and repeat after me. Sylvia. Sylvia. I give you this ring as a symbol of my eternal devotion to you. I give you this ring as a symbol of my eternal devotion to you. I promise to love, honor, and cherish you. I promise to love, honor, and cherish you. For you are my beloved, and I am yours. For you are my beloved, and I am yours. Alejandro, please place the ring on Sylvia's left hand. By the power invested in me, by the state of California, it is with extreme honor that I now pronounce you husband and wife. Alex, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Family and friends, I present to you the new Mr. and Mrs. Alejandro and Silvia Mosqueda. Woo!